Hi, this is Arjun Iapring for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing Disney's Aladdin. Aladdin is, of course, another good addition to the growing lineup of Disney's re reiterations of their classic movies, this being, of course, the classic cartoon Aladdin. But ultimately, it just can't quite be break the Disney fatigue in this whole remake process. But it does, it does hold some great direction and acting talent. There's a lot to talk about in terms of the cast department and whether they live up to the expectations. And Mena Masood as Aladdin is fantastic with this char charisma and kind heart, which just really translates well from the cartoon. While he also proves his overall physical prowess in the adventurous parkour scenes. Of course, his ch chemistry with Jasmine, it's pretty well realized and it for forwards upon the iconic romance from the cartoon movie. However, his singing portions do not fare well, with most of it appearing like a mediocre lip dub, but this appears to be more of an error on the production side than of Masood's. And overall, it just goes to show that cartoons just can't be translated as well to live action movies. But some of the musical numbers do work. But let's talk about Will Smith as Genie, who is my favorite character because it's really just a medley of his overall charm and swagger. It's just the Will Smith show at times. I was worried that he would try to imitate Robin Williams' signature fast talk and chaoticness in the in the in the numbers, but he really just does his own thing, and that's just really why it works overall. And the CGI for him is thankfully much better than what it was in the trailers. Naomi Scott as Jasmine is stellar with with her overall strength as a ruler. As they do take a few liberties to establish her as more independent, her aspirations to become a ruler among Abraka are well fl fleshed, and the singing portions for her, for her do fare the best, despite some choppy editing. It's just more of an issue with how they translate the cartoons to the live action, but she does have the best singing, you know, musical numbers. Unfortunately, Marwan Kanzari as Jafar gives his best, and you can totally tell he's trying, but he just fails to leave an impression. His character is terribly one note, with his nefarious intents, and like all other villains, and the script really fails to develop his motive. But then again, he was never, it was never really the classic cartoon strength of its villain in Jafar. He's always been a mustache twir twir twirling villain. One of the movie's biggest strengths is in its director, in Guy Ritchie, who always just elegantly writes and directs all of his movies, and they just contain this unique style. But at time, that style does outweigh the substance, but we do get a lot of dazzling musical numbers and soaring perilous adventures. My favorite scene is definitely the Friend Like Me number, which doubles down on the craziness of the original. It's a familiar but faithful take that highlights Will Smith's ability to helm the iconic musical number. New numbers like Spe Speechless are welcome additions that highlight the change in Jasmine's overall character arc here. They also showcase Naomi Scott's range as a singer, and that musical number also stood among my favorites because of that. Of course, all Disney movies are synonymous with their messages they have to tell to kids, and this movie is no different in Love Conquering All, but I love that here it's not just an Aladdin and Jasmine's love for each other, which is kind of just standard for all these Disney movies, but I just love seeing the brotherly for fulfillment of promise on the genie side, and it's focused more upon here than in the original. But really, the movie does have flaws in just how they translate it overall, and it's we've kind of just seen it all. And for that reason, I would give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, but I do recommend it from ages 6 to 18, even though there is some action and peril. This is Arjun Iapring for Kids First. Thanks for watching.